Thank you very much because those are the people that need to be sensitized for them to be able to carry that message to the community in general. So, and again, thank you for the briefing that you have just um, informed us here. I'm happy to have learned that there's a lot of progress since uh, we last met in, uh, in Durban. And um, one particular area of importance for us in Zanzibar, as you have mentioned, is the blue economy. And uh, since it is under consideration in this uh, um, program, uh, we are happy to have learned that that, uh, that is part of what you are uh, trying to, to do. And also uh, the fact that you have not left aside the small and medium uh, enterprises that we have now, as we speak, 43 countries that have ratified the agreement establishing the AFCFTA. Uh, the most recent countries were Morocco, uh, DRC, and uh, Cabo Verde uh, to uh, ratify the agreement. We have had probably the, the most unprecedented uh, political commitment from our leaders as well as a legal commitment uh, to make sure that uh, we create this market of 1.3 billion people with a combined GDP of $3.4 trillion. How do we position uh, Zanzibar to benefit uh, in terms of the blue economy? How do we make sure that um, uh, Zanzibar is able to export um, uh, to the rest of the continent? Uh, the blue economy is critical to Zanzibar, Comori Islands, the Seychelles, as well as, of course, um, on the west coast of the continent. I was just in, in Cabo Verde last month, and very, very similar uh, uh, priorities in terms of uh, the services sector and the blue economy in particular. And uh, it's the purpose of uh, this visit is just... Uh, First, to do the trainings for our parliamentarians and uh, members of House of Representatives Committee responsible for trade. But also this courtesy call is to first to greet you, but also to give you a brief updates on the development of African continental free trade area. Into ways of how to disseminate the information and also to, to make sure as government we are working with you hand in hand to make uh, the, the, the program, uh, you know, possible to implement. Uh, because, you, as you know, the biggest challenge that our continent is facing is the logistics. Yeah, and uh, we need to do more about that. And I, I believe uh, Zanzibar being um, a tourist destination, there's a lot that we can uh, achieve out of this uh, free trade area uh, with the rest of the of the continent um, so uh, let me conclude by saying we are happy and we are thankful that you have been able to come to Zanzibar twice in order to speak to all the stakeholders and and we believe that uh, the the meetings that you are undertaking will be helpful to to our community here and to Tanzania in general. So thank you once again for that.